Welcome to Culture Screen, where we analyze culture through countdown. A Bronx Tale premiered as a film adaptation to the one-man show acted out by Chaz Palminteri in 1989. It was the first film directed by Robert De Niro. In this episode, I will discuss a few of the many lessons we learned from Sonny, one of the main characters in the movie. We learned right from the beginning of the movie that Sonny is willing to commit murder to establish order in his neighborhood. As the boss of the neighborhood, he is seen on the corner where he has a panoramic view of the entire neighborhood. Later on, as time progresses, Sonny notices Kolojiro, or C, is chasing down a friend that owes him money. Sonny stops C and tells him he should look at the situation strategically rather than impulsively. Sonny goes on a small walk with C down to a local restaurant. Along the way, Sonny tells C that he mostly read books when he was in prison for 10 years. This is where Sonny brings up Niccolo Machiavelli. It is in this scene that Sonny brings up one of the most iconic lines of the entire movie. Sonny says to C, I could live anywhere I want to. You know why I live in this neighborhood? Availability. I want to stay close to everything, because being on the spot, I can see trouble immediately. End quote. If you would like to learn more about Machiavelli's The Prince, click on the video card on the top right or in the recommended videos at the end of this episode. Sonny knows very well the seriousness of the game he is in. He understands that without the support of his underlings, he is weak. As we see in the first scene, after Sonny commits the murder, the entire community comes out to see what occurs and Kolodro, as a child at the time, is also there but he refuses to identify Sonny to the detectives, showing just how much the community backs Sonny. Sonny teaches Kolodjero in this scene that he is successful simply because he remains close to his people. In chapter three of The Prince by Machiavelli, we read the following quote, quote, even with the most powerful army, if you want to invade a state, you need the support of the people. One of the best and quickest solutions is for the new prince to go and live in his new state. This makes the possession more durable and secure." End quote. Living in the community that he controls is how Sonny protects against the risk that comes with being the king of his empire. In the same chapter, chapter 3, Machiavelli goes on to further state, quote, the prince cannot under any circumstance avoid a war by allowing this order to develop. End quote. For Machiavelli, allowing for chaos and disorder does not avoid war. Allowing this merely postpones the war to your own disadvantage, because you won't know when the enemy will strike again. Sonny knows that his presence in his community must be respected at all costs. When the parking incident occurs in the beginning, and Sonny executes the unnamed driver wielding a baseball bat, Sonny meets war head on rather than running away from it. This in turn further solidifies his control, power, and respect in his kingdom. When C and Sonny arrive at the restaurant, C asks Sonny if it is better to be feared or loved by his people. This brings us to chapter 17 of Machiavelli's The Prince. In chapter 17, Machiavelli answers this question with, quote, my reply is that one would like to be both, but as it is difficult to combine love and fear, if one has to choose between them, it is far safer to be feared than loved." End quote. This is exactly what Sonny tells C. Sonny understands that it is ideal to be loved and feared. However, Sonny also understands that fear lasts much longer than love. Machiavelli further states, quote, because it can be said of men that they are ungrateful and inconstant, simulators and dissimulators, and that they are hungry for profit and quick to evade danger. While you do them good, they are devoted to you, offering you their lives, their possessions, their children, as I have said before, but only as long as danger is far off. The moment danger is at hand, they turn away." End quote. Sonny explains to see in this scene, just as Machiavelli does to us, that love is temporary. People can love you today and forget about you tomorrow, especially if you hurt them. But fear lasts longer. So long as the king is threatening, he remains the king. In the scene that follows, we see a biker gang show up to the Shea Bip, Sonny's bar. Here we move from theory to practice. Sonny gives C a couple of lessons, and in the next scene he applies and models those lessons for C to watch. When the biker gang shows up, Sonny gets up from the restaurant and walks towards his bar to confront the bikers. Sonny is polite and allows the bikers to stay to have their drinks. After the bikers receive their drinks, 
They proceed to disrespect the bar and Sonny asks them to leave, but the bikers refuse to exit. At this moment, Sonny locks the door and a bar fight begins as Sonny's entire crew comes out of the back room armed with clubs and baseball bats. They beat down and destroy their bikes. In the end, Sonny walks over to the leader as he is laid out on the sidewalk and says, look at me, I'm the one who did this to you. In a later scene, Sonny pulls out yet another lesson from Machiavelli's The Prince. This one he calls the door test. Sonny tells C that in order to find out if the girl he is dating is a good fit for him, he must give her the door test. Sonny says, quote, all right, listen to me. You pull up right where she is, right? Before you get out of the car, you lock both doors. Then you get out of the car, you walk over to her, you bring her over to the car, take out the key, put it in the lock, open the door for her. Then you let her get in. Then you close the door for her. Then you walk around the back of the car and you look through the rear window. If she doesn't reach over and lift up that button for you so you can get in, dump her, end quote. This scene is also straight out of Machiavelli's The Prince, chapter 22, where he writes, quote, There is a dependable method by which a prince can know his advisor. When the prince sees that the advisor is more intent on furthering his own interests than that of the prince, and that his actions aim to further his own goals, this advisor will never be a good one, and the prince will never be able to trust him, end quote. For Sonny, a girlfriend has the role of an advisor, because of how close a woman can get to a man. According to Sonny, a relationship partner must be someone who cares about C and puts him first just as C considers her first when he opens her door. By the girl not opening the driver's seat door, they would be acting selfishly, or as Machiavelli calls it, to further their own interests. And a person like this cannot be trusted. Sonny goes on to tell C, quote, Listen to me, kid. If she doesn't reach over and lift up that button for you, that means she's a selfish broad and all you're seeing is the tip of the iceberg. You dump her and you dump her fast." End quote. A Bronx Tale was originally a play written and performed by Chaz Palminteri as a one-man show. It was first performed in 1989. Chaz Palminteri would later work with Robert De Niro to transform his act into a movie in 1993. If you are interested in lessons in leadership and strategy, check out our other episodes on this topic. We have episodes on Miyamoto Musashi's The Book of Five Rings, The Path Walked Alone, and Karl von Clausewitz's On War, as well as Machiavelli's The Prince, and many more to come. We upload new videos every week, so subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. Click the notification bell to be notified of when we upload these videos. See you on the next episode of Culture Screen.